Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Have you ever found a really interesting YouTube video, for example by a world-renowned scholar and psychiatrist, exploring whether mental illness exists, and then wanted to take your learning to the next level by interacting with it by posing questions and getting answers based on the YouTube video's contents? Well today I'm going to show you how you can do this by using a new AI update to Copilot in the Microsoft Edge browser. Using this technique it's almost as if you're engaging with the person presenting in the video. It's, it's really fascinating. To demonstrate how you can use AI to actively engage with YouTube content, I'm going to use a video I filmed a few years ago of Thomas Sass a prominent academic and psychiatrist who explored the question, does mental illness exist? If you're interested in this topic, I've put a link to Zaz's video in the section below. Obviously, the techniques I'm going to outline apply to any YouTube video topic you may want to explore. To use AI to explore the video, first open up the Microsoft Edge browser. I've included links below outlining how you can download the browser if you don't have it already installed. Once you've done this, then navigate to YouTube and type into the search bar, Thomas Saz, does mental illness exist? In the search results, you should find this video. It's a really informative film where Thomas Saz sat with an audience and responded to their questions about the subject of mental illness. Now imagine I found the video, but I'm on a deadline and need to know the contents without having to watch the whole video. Well, to get a summary of the video, you can click on the Copilot button here and then click on the Generate Video Summary button. Once you do this, you can see that Copilot can save you time by generating a summary of the video. In this case, it outlines that this video is a recording of a Q&A session with Thomas Zaz, a prominent critic of psychiatry and the concept of mental illness. Zaz argues that mental illness is not a real disease, but a metaphor for human suffering and a tool for social control. He opposes any form of coercive treatment and advocates for individual freedom and responsibility. He answers four questions from the audience, who challenges views from different perspectives. It then goes on to provide a summary of the questions and his responses. Now, I think that this is a really useful feature. It can save you time by allowing you to see the contents without having to watch the whole video. What I also like is that you can jump to specific parts of the video. For example, you can see that if you scroll down, that the second question is about the usefulness of diagnosis and treatment for mental distress. If you click on the time 0459, it will take you straight to that part of the video so you can hear the question and Thomas Zaz's response. Or 0955 to jump to the third question and response. I think that this is a really basic but useful way to interact with the video's contents. So far we've looked at the summary Copilot can provide and how you can explore existing content. Another way that we never envisaged this video could be used when we first recorded it is how you can pose questions and get responses from the perspective of the video's content. For example, if I was to type, according to the video, how can people who struggle emotionally find help? Copilot responds by stating, according to the video, people who struggle emotionally can find help by seeking a non-coercive, individualized and humanistic approach that respects their autonomy and dignity. Finding a helper such as a minister, priest, doctor or teacher who really wants to help them and adheres to the principles of first do no harm. Engaging in a conversation with a third party who can match their level of sophistication and understanding. Repudiating the medical model of mental illness and the use of force or social control. Recognising that their suffering is not an illness, but a different kind of suffering that depends on their social, personal and spiritual context. From the screen you can see that Copilot outlines that the video discusses these points at the following times, which is really helpful, particularly when viewing much longer videos. Let's pose another question. Let's ask, according to the video, are mental health and emotional health the same? And Copilot responds by writing, According to the video, Thomas Sass, the speaker, does not directly compare mental health and emotional health, 
However, he does challenge the traditional concept of mental health, arguing that what is often labelled as mental illness is not a real disease, but a metaphor for human suffering. He suggests that emotional struggles are a part of human experience and not necessarily a sign of illness. It's important to note that these views are specific to Zaz and may not be universally accepted in the field of psychology or psychiatry. I like that last caveat because it makes a clear statement Thomas Zaz's views may not be universally accepted in the field of psychology or psychiatry. What's useful is, is I can also copy and save and share the response by clicking on the copy button. I could, for example, then paste the responses into a Word document and share them at a later date. Finally, let's ask, according to the video, can mental health issues be cured? The following points are explored from the perspectives of Thomas Sars and the people engaged in debate and discussion with him in the film. I like this because there are a number of perspectives presented, such as the debate on curing mental health, Thomas Sars critiques the medical model, explaining mental illness as a metaphor for human suffering. Diverse perspectives, including personal stories. This challenges Sars' views by emphasising the complexity of mental health issues. There's also encouragement to adopt critical thinking about psychiatry, stressing the significance of individual choice and responsibility in mental health care. You'll see that I've just done a quick summary of the responses, so please do rewind and pause the video to read the responses in much more detail. Or better still, give it a go yourself. I found that using Copilot in this way has not only taught me a great deal about Thomas Zaz's and the audience's ideas, but also provided me with a way to get a quick overview of the video, find specific information in the video, jump to different parts of the video, ask my own questions from the perspective of the contributors in the video, and store and share summaries with others. I think that this is a great way to save time, get the information you need quickly, and easily engage in an interactive way with the content. It also provides you with a way of almost getting responses from the individuals within the videos. I encourage you to try out the new Copilot update and see for yourself how it can help you get the most out of YouTube videos. At the moment, Copilot only works with YouTube videos, but I'm sure this will change in the future. Well, I hope you found this video useful in terms of learning about the work of Thomas Sars, mental illness, and how you can use AI to explore and interact with YouTube content. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts, so please do leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.